In this video, we're going to talk about the internal links or so-called wiki links in Obsidian. And also, we are going to talk about how to link to a specific part of a page and also how to customize the internal link and these kinds of things. So please stay tuned. So in order to explain internal links or let's say wiki links, first of all, I need to create three pages. So first of all, I click on this and here I have a text file, which I'll put the contents of this text file in the pinned comments, which you don't have to type all of these stuff. So the first page, the title of the first page is going to be Atomic Habits. So that's it. And the content of the page is going to be these lines so i copy them and paste them here so let's close this one and create another page and the title of the next page is going to be this one so i copy that and i paste it here and the content is going to be these lines and let's close this page as well and create another one and the title of the next page is going to be james clear and its content is going to be these lines so as you can see, James Clear has two books. Book number one is Atomic Habits and the other one is The Power of Imperfect Start. And as you can see, the first book is Atomic Habits. And also we have a page called Atomic Habits. And suppose that I want to link this one to this page. So it is going to be an internal link. So in order to do so, I should open two brackets. So as you can see, I open two brackets. You can see these are two square brackets. And also automatically Obsidian closes those brackets as well and then i should specify the name of the page which i want to link so in this case it is atomic habits page and as you can see by typing some letters it suggests that the name of the page is probably atomic habits and that's right so i press tab on my keyboard and if i click somewhere else now you can see we have an internal link and if i click on it you can see it opens the atomic habits page so let's close this page and once again let's click on this in order to open this page and also i want to make this one an internal link as well so once again i open two brackets and i simply type the name of that page which is the power of, imp of imperfect start so i click on it and then i click somewhere else and as you can see here is our link and if i click on it you can see it opens that page and as you can see in this page we have the author which is james clear so suppose that i want to link this one to james clear page so it is going to be an internal link so once again open two brackets and link to james clear page that's it let's close this as well and let's go to this page and once again let's do the same thing for this two brackets and james clear let's click on it and as you can see now we have an internal link to james clear page as well and if i click on it you can see this is james clear page so now after doing this if i click on this which says open graph view you can see here we have a graph view of our pages each of these nodes each of these circles is a page in my vault so as you can see for example here we have a page called james clear which is linked to two pages atomic habits and the power of imperfect start and this view is called graph view but the topic of this video is not graph view so let's close this but here's a question for example if i open this page as you can see we have two books atomic habits and the power of imperfect start and now for example suppose that i want to open this page in a new tab so instead of clicking you should use control click so i use control click and as you can see it has been opened in a new tab and now maybe you ask can we link to a specific part of the page instead of the whole page yes it is possible for example suppose that you want to link to this section so in order to do so first of all you should convert this part this section into a header for example suppose that i want to use a header a header one for this part that's it so by doing so if i go to this page and now if i click here not on the link itself because if you click on the link itself it is going to open the page so for for example if i click here and go to editing mode and edit the link so in order to link to that specific part of that page i should put a hash and as you can see it automatically suggests that that page has a section called summary and i click on it because i want to use that section that's it so as a matter of fact i'm linking to that section of the page so if i click somewhere else and if i click on this you can see it automatically links to this section of this page so once again let's go to james clear page so i click on this in order to go to james clear page but now maybe you ask something so maybe you ask is it possible to customize the text of these internal links yes it is possible so for example suppose that i want to customize the text of this internal link and for example 
uh, write something like, for example, link or these kinds of things. So in order to do so, after the name of this link and before closing the brackets, I should put a pipeline, which is called vertical line as well. And after that, I should specify the name which I want to choose for that page. For example, suppose that I want to choose this name. So I click somewhere else. So as you can see, I have customized the text of that link. And also if I click here again, I can change it as well. For example, suppose that I want to choose a better name. For example, I want to type, for example, summary of atomic habits. So that's it. And if I click somewhere else, you can see I have customized the text of our internal link. And if I click on it, you can see it goes to the summary section of Atomic Habits page. So now if you want to watch the next video of this playlist, you can watch the video which is on the left side of the screen. And also if you want the link to this step-by-step -step Obsidian tutorial playlist, the link is in the description below.